Right, next up we have one of our new performers for you, a young gentleman called Gavan Phantom. Now Gavan has the beginnings of laryngitis, so I want you to, to really encourage him, give him loads of um, sort of enthusiasm and also cock your ears because he may not be able to project as much. Go have a huge round of applause please for Gavan! <laughs> Well, thank you. I'm actually hoping it's more the ends rather than the beginnings. A few days ago, I couldn't speak to my colleagues, and this is the first time I'm trying to project. So it seems to be working. Woohoo! <laughs> so um, a few weeks back, Punch Poetry did a, um, did a, a spot at the Peterborough Festival, and I went along with that, and I brought a couple of poems along. But the day before, I got an email saying, bring six. And I thought, I haven't got six. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. writing poetry and coming along to poetry, poetry is quite a new thing for me, so I sat down the day before and wrote a poem about not having anything to write about. <laughs> <laughs> um, I sat down to write a poem and wondered where to start. I looked for inspiration, something interesting to impart. I looked around the office and saw hints of people's hair above a multitude of screens, not much inspiration there. I looked outside the window, a viewport on the world, the trees obscured the buildings and leaves and branches swelled. I thought about the internet, but that's just cats and porn. There's no lack of feline poetry, and no need to get the horn. <laughs> There's little there to write about, like superficial greenery, the lives of bored co-workers or internet machinery. The thing with inspiration, it originates within. To let your mind meander is the only way to win. Fortunately, I didn't have to wait long for a bit of inspiration because a few days later I got quite irritated by a financial institution who couldn't be bothered to stop sending junk mail. So, here we go. Dear Bank, why do you irritate me so? I don't want to know your special rates or what financial sense it makes to upgrade to your premium rate. Junk mail is one of my pet hates. So when I request to be removed, why is my message disapproved? Unable to comply, you mused, your customer service unimproved. Not wishing to exercise restraint, I'll raise with you my due complaint. We'll see how tight is your constraint as I scatter around and so acquaint myself quickly with your competition who will recognise the imposition posed by shameless exhibition of marketing without permission. Will you change to my satisfaction or bug me more with your distraction? Will you adjust your interaction? Or lose my business through inaction. <laughs> so I spend a lot of time um, with computers and electronics and things that I find fun. Now when I say fun it's an interesting little word um, because it's the sort of thing that while it works great a lot of the time and does exactly what I want it to do it's not without a certain element of frustration and anybody who's ever tried to get a computer to do what they want when the computer's not playing ball will hopefully recognize this feeling of frustration why won't it work i stare at the screen of the hateful machine I check all the details in the documentation while the error prevails with my growing frustration I stare at the screen of the hateful machine why won't it work I read through the code, line after line. Will it explode? It all looks fine. Why won't it work? Can this not be solved by logic rather than a gin and tonic? <laughs> I go for a walk to clear my head. I wonder which detail I could have misread. Why won't it work? I don't believe it. I try it once more. The testing reveals that it's broken for sure. I stare at the screen of the hateful machine. Why won't it work? After hours and hours, using all of my powers, I can prove that nothing is wrong. Why won't it work? My eyes are red. It's time for bed. I take a break and eat some bread. I stare at the screen of the hateful machine. Why won't it work? My idea is exhausted. I ask for assistance. It has to be better than endless persistence. I explain the problem from the beginning. My head is spinning. He listens. 
Words pass my mouth at such a pace, desperately trying not to lose face as I realise that something just isn't quite right. I dig a bit deeper because this just might be the answer, the light, the end of the fight. With wishful delight I foresee the end of the night. I fix and I test and, embarrassed, I jest that a schoolboy would make this sort of mistake. But it works now. <sighs> I'm going to bed. In the morning once more I'll be using my head. I'll write the next feature and pray the next bug. That most nasty creature won't be so smug. <laughs> <laughs> I dream. Well, I'm going to work. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Next up, oh, didn't he do well with the with the laryngitis? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very impressed.